The cocoa industry in West Africa sees this white dripping sap as the biggest threat to its cocoa supply after climate change. <laughs> A growing number of farmers are either diversifying into natural rubber or turning their backs on a crop that sustained livelihoods for generations and put Ivory Coast on the top of the global list of cocoa producers. Sawado Gumusa is a president of the local cocoa cooperative in Agboville, a town north of the capital, Abidjan. He farms both crops. Farming rubber is like being on a salary. You harvest it almost every month, unlike cocoa, which is harvested once or at most twice a year. It may not fetch as much as cocoa, but at least you have something to live on every month. Natural rubber production in Ivory Coast rose from 170,000 tons just three years ago to 1.5 million tons in 2022, propelling the country to the top three producers in the world. Industry analysts believe it could surpass its current output for the 2023-2024 season. Climate change and soaring production costs are forcing more farmers to switch to rubber. While rubber trees take nearly as long as cocoa to produce the first output, they require less hard work. And unlike cocoa, rubber prices are stable, something many farmers here appreciate for their own financial stability. That's a source of concern for the cocoa industry. Cocoa diversification and sustainability consultant Edmund Conan says the cocoa industry is at a crossroad. Small scale oil farm farmers provide 90% of the world supply. They have two to three hectares. Nobody can control them. Anytime they can cut down their cocoa trees. It's not like big farms that can, you know, be controlled, but for the small other farmers, you can't control them. He says the cocoa industry must come up with an acceptable support system to help farmers who continue to live in poverty while supplying a multi-billion dollar industry. If not, fewer farmers will cultivate the crop, which could mean higher prices for the chocolate bar or the supermarket shelves. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abidjan. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.